Hi, thank you for your interest in downloading Rayma's Database Manager product. My name is David Nguyen, and I'll be here to guide you through how to install and run the included examples with our product. So in the email you received from our website, there should be a download link. I've already done that process, so if you double-click the installer, you'll go through a pretty standard installation process. Feel free to read the license agreement if you'd like. It is above. Hit Next. Uh, there are some options during this install process. By default, we include the examples and tutorials, and we modify the path so that you can easily access our utilities. Further, you can register the ODBC, ADO.NET, or JDBC drivers if you are interested in those interfaces. As you hit next, we by default install into the C um, drive under a new folder called Rima. Um, so I'll open up Windows Explorer, you can finish the installer. And you can see here that this C drive does have a Rayman folder, RDM, and 14.1. Uh, within the bin folder is all of our pre-compiled examples, our RDM utilities, our shared libraries, and some debug files. The ones of interest to you will be the Visual Studio project files at the bottom. Uh, we'll open the Visual Studio 2017 one. And from here, you'll see that all of our Examples and tutorials are loaded on the left-hand side. The examples are more complicated, fully-fledged applications, whereas the tutorials focus on one simple aspect of the product. Uh, the Hello World tutorials one we'll look at. The Hello World.sdl file is the schema for the database that we'll be using. It has one table called info, and it, that table has one column, which is a 50-character field called mychar. And if you open up the C file, you'll see this is the actual code through the um, ID. All of the comments here kind of explain what each row does, what each API is trying to do. So from here, you can right-click the Hello World tutorial example itself and build it. Uh, at the bottom here, you'll see that it succeeded without errors. So next, what we'll do is we'll open up a command prompt and navigate to that folder. And Visual Studio creates a x64 folder for 64-bit. And under debug, you'll see that there is one executable, Hello World Tutorial. If you run it, it'll insert a row into the database, and it'll retrieve it. Now, if you go back to that folder in your Windows Explorer, you'll see this new, newly created subfolder uh, with the name of the database, .rdm. And in there is the single pack file that stores the contents of your database. Now as your database grows, it will roll over to a new pack file and it will vacuum up the unused contents of the previous pack file. Uh, so thank you for downloading the product. Feel free to explore all of the other examples and tutorials we have. And if you have any further questions, you can email support at or use the live chat on our website at rayma.com. Thank you.